Hello and welcome back, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more sweet Chosun Turtles. We're waiting for the Ottomans to stop wanting to be at war. Um, this guy has barely any forts, probably because he's poor and bad. This army can march over there, let's go blockade his capital. Let's have probably another one of these armies break off to assist in this war. We'll go for that fort. Yes. Yep. The actual war goal with the Ayutthaya War is Chiang Rai, which is this, so that is where this army will go. Making 290 out of 651 right now. I don't think our fleet over here ever got reassigned to its job. Let me see if I can actually get that done. Yes, now we can do it. We've got fleet basing range again. So, there's not a huge amount of wealth here, but having a whole fleet sitting around doing nothing is definitely not ideal. I thought it does have a decent army. Got like, what, 60... Eh, call it 55 plus another 40, so about 95k troops that I can see. But, um... I don't think it's gonna be enough. I'm gonna path through there, then go into Ava. It's just Ayutthaya and Ava in this war. I have this army, go join the one in Canton. I think we can drill again instead of suppressing rebels because all of our cores are done. I don't think we actually have any unrest, like, anywhere. Okay. You get such a rush when streamers say my name? That's his name. GF... GFH... FGIGGG. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a complicated one. This is not a good fight, but uh, by the time the secondary army arrives, I think we'll be okay. Apparently it's not going to arrive in time. That's fine. Bum, 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 bum. We need to knock this guy out of the war. Okay, that fell. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why I'm humming and making random bum bums, but... Nice, AI being smart, using a 94 stack for sieges. A little bit smarter. To use 46, but not much smarter. I should I should also use smaller armies. This guy doesn't have level 4 forts, so... We might even want to, like, tailor our army composition around the average fort level of the enemies we're fighting. Like, we could have a stack, a template that's for level 2 forts and a template that's for level 4 forts, but... That's too much work, man. I don't... I don't care. War is not gonna be difficult, so... Hopefully that this fort will hold for a while. We're trading in grain. Land force limit plus 20. Wow. We suddenly have a ton of force limit. Um, more infantry would be nice. Let's get some of those. I hear infantry are good. There's another 40,000. We can do something with that. Rewarding loyalty. God damn it. Makassar is going to cost us 6,000 ducats or we lose mandate. I'm not paying 6,000 ducats for these tributaries. Seriously, we just need to get rid of these things. Scaled wealth is so bad with this mandate click. 6,000 ducats and the money doesn't even go to the damn tributary. It just disappears. That's ridiculous. Can't even believe it. Hey, we did lose that fort. Not a big deal. Now that they're done with their siege, we should regroup the two armies so they don't actually get killed. We won the siege of Sukulthai. Okay. We have 44 war score, so so I think if we we're only taking our claims. We could try to take a little bit more, but taking the claims will be the easiest. People like to... I think most people try to push for more than they need to in wars. They they like to do a 100% peace deal every time. But the thing is that... It takes so long to get ticking war score from the actual war goal. Unless you're using a CB that is based on show superiority, it takes a long time to get 40 war score from battles. It's much, much easier to get the first, like, 40 to 50 war score than it is to get the last 40 to 50 war score. 
So I find it's usually better to just do a shorter truce, win the war for half value, and only put in like 20% of the effort. Usually. The issue is the balance of power as they count the Ottomans to their forces. No, they don't. Relative strength of alliance, negative six. The Ottoman I mean, if they were if we had if we were in the same war together, then Ayatai would definitely consider the Ottomans armies, but they're not considering in this war, Ayatai is only measuring themselves against us. There are certain CBs, and there are certain situations where they will consider it, but not right now. Okay, we don't have the war goal. Let's have this army head to the war goal for now. Yep, the Ottomans are donating money again. They're at 26, negative 26 war score. Uh, they're willing to agree to a 26% peace deal, so... Um, do war reps and... 3,000 ducats. Thanks, Ottomans. Third time this campaign that he's donated to the Center for Children Who Can't Read Good. Universities for Everyone. Sponsored by the Ottomans. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ava, how close are you to agreeing to a peace deal, I wonder? Got the war goal back. They are occupying some land in our subject. Our subject probably needs a fort in his capital. He has no building slots, of course he doesn't. I bet he built a marketplace. No marketplace. He built a courthouse, though. Equally bad. Probably worse, actually. Alright. Ava, you are just out of this war. I don't care about trade power. Because you're downstream from us. Alright, Thaya. Now we're close enough that I think we should just do, like, one major battle against him to cripple his relative strength and make him actually agree to maybe 80% peace deal. We can reinforce. Of course he's engaging our much worse general. Wait. Mong Nai's general is leading right now. Uh, we can reinforce in time, but I think this 26 stack is going to over throw our ability. Yeah. Gotta retreat. Boo. Get him down to low enthusiasm, and then go from there. I don't even need that much clay, honestly. Like, we're taking these three provinces to our subject. And then I have... I have a claim on that province, so I'm gonna take that. It's only... 35 war score to take this land. He's almost willing to agree. We're going to double tap him, so we'll take money but no war reps. So that's that's it. I'm not going to take more than that, I think, right now. And we'll take that land, get the core started, attack him again soon. Just keep on, you know, picking away at him. That seems totally reasonable and fine to me. Um, beard so bushy because Roomba's head got confused where its top is. Hmm. It's not very nice. Are you assuming my gender? I'm offended. Sometimes I just say words. They're not actually funny. That's okay. Majpat wants to do stuff and things. I'm fine. I I'm good, man. I don't want to be your friend. We pick out this army. We have ticking war score. Fighting the smallest armies is what we want. Or the leaderless armies. Like that one. Okay, he did manage to reinforce. We are taking a, uh, a penalty here, but we got Jan. He's on tech 18 to our tech 19. 
We've got morale advantage, discipline advantage. Uh, well, not a discipline advantage, but we do have a tactics advantage because of tech. We have also more artillery with another reinforcement stack of artillery. So I'm just going to take this fight. He loses more relative military power than we do. So it's good enough. I'll take war ups, even though we're going to go to war with him again soon, because it's fine. And if he... well, no. I changed my mind. No war ups. Maybe one more province. War 2. Okay. Would be nice to connect all of our territory. This connects this region, but we, we still don't have a connection around here. But that's what, uh, that's what the war with Lang Zhang is going to be for, right? We could once again take tech super early. We have way too many monarch points, again. Just keep on doing lots of development. Which is totally fine. Let's go down to like 300 points. Across the board because we are so close to the limit. And I could be going through and turning on dev cost edicts and stuff, but at this stage I don't think it's necessary. Time to pass reform now. Um we could. There are there are benefits. If we could get this next one, that's the one I would care about. Since we're almost at hundred, we'd only go down to thirty, which means a twenty percent goods produced penalty. It is really nice making as much money as we are right now. Thirty three hundred and sixteen net per month is fantastic. But, um, um, that's not what I wanted to click. That's every manufacturing built that we are allowed to build. Why is dev so cheap? Part of it is because I have been doing the universities in the entire country. We also have tech that gives dev cost efficiency already. We have right here, development efficiency plus 10, so that takes the, the price down by, obviously, 10%. This is a list of all the discounts. So we've got Totally Fat Sandwich Chrysanthemum Tho Throne, which applies to the entire country. We have the Renaissance. Expanded Palace Bureaucracy is the 10% dev cost from this. That's global minus 5, 10, 20. Then, if, if the province in question does have a university, that's another minus 20, so 40%. Innovativeness is maxed out for another additive 10. So, globally, assuming there's a university present, we're at negative 50% cost. And if there's other modifiers like cotton, or farmlands, or if we were to run edicts, or if there's prosperity, then it, it continues to get even more and more discounted. Compensate the traders, lose money to have the Neo-Confucian reformers gain influence. Well, I mean, I do like money. I don't want them to lose loyalty. We'll take this click. But then, before we actually have to take out any loans or anything, we'll just ask for the money back, please. Can I politely have, like, you know, an extra 50% more than you just took from me, please? Sweet. That's very nice of you. Nito, what do you use to click so fast? Uh, it's just an auto hotkey script. I baked it into my my auto hotkey script to fix my double click problem. I can show you the code if you if you want. It's not a big deal. Right down here, I've got uh, an auto hotkey script running called fix double click. This is the code. It's not very much. This this block right here makes it so that if I accidentally M button means mouse button, if a time since prior hotkey is less than 15 milliseconds, return send M button. So basically this is checking to see if my mouse has a I don't know what the word is. There's like the little metal thing that determines whether the mouse clicker has actually clicked. And it's a notorious problem on this type of mouse actually where the little metal thing kind of gets bent slightly, and then it makes it so that it'll send errant double clicks, like it'll think you're double clicking when you're just regular clicking. So this part of the script makes it so that that can't happen, because it's 
it's physically like nearly impossible to, to double click in less than 15 milliseconds. So this script fixes that problem because I can't double click that quickly anymore. Now it'll only count a double click if I click it's less slow than that. And this part I added in just recently, this is what lets me do the auto hotkey super click fast. If I press control G, that's what this means, it toggles this port, this portion of the code, and then it loops this. So once every 20 milliseconds, it will click. And that's it. Pretty easy. That's what lets me do this. You just put the mat, you know, point the mouse and shoot. Be convenient. You have the exact same problem with double click. Just Google. Um, I would Google auto hotkey fix double click, and you'll find resources to help you do that. Fix that. That's basically all I did. Our truce of Spain is already up. My God. Spain. If you attack another one of my tributaries, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill everyone. I will kill everyone you care about, Spain. It will happen. Be... You've been warned. I would prefer to stick with a National Unrest guy at this stage of the game. It's very convenient with all the absolutism stuff we've been doing. We're actually at peace, also. So could we go ahead and, like, lower autonomy a bit? Get our absolutism up? Indeed we could. Um... I'm just going to use the auto hotkey click to just, you know, do this. Literally everywhere that's got the ability to be lowered, we're going to lower it. Mm, it's not very many places, but hey, 56 absolutism, not bad. And we're drilling like fools. This army, though, is on suppression duty. When's our truce with Bing? 1640 April. So we've got less than a year to go, and then we can actually attack Ming. These armies, I don't, I don't really want them here. I want them elsewhere, like near Ming, for example. Ming has actual friends now. One, Ava. Hmm. What is missing for the achievements? If we attack Long Zhang, we end up at war with Ayutthaya, and then our cores get paused because he's a tributary of Ayutthaya. As soon as the cores are done, then we can consider doing that war. But I don't want to tie up the core creation cost or core timing, rather. Bum bum bum. I don't. I don't care. Just fill in this island because it's here. Next, we could also consider doing manufactories in our subjects' territories, like the colonial nations. Right now, they're not showing up on that list, but they probably have some better, much much better tributary or much better manufactory options than what I've been building lately. Your vassal has claims on Ava. True, but we have a truce with Ava. We we just fought him. He also has claims on Mong Mao, but Mong Mao is a tributary under Ayutthaya. Like, Dongu is a tributary under... I mean, there's just so many. We can keep on attacking Ayutthaya. It will happen, just not yet. <laughs> Why do you guys keep talking about my beard being so bushy? What's up with you guys? What are you guys turning into some kind of Jimmy? <laughs> uh, we have a valid rival. Man, how come our power prediction has just been like... Oh, right, Ming. Yeah, of course. We could rival Russia. I'd rather not antagonize another world power. If we could just not deal with him, that'd be superior, I think. This army should be adjacent to the Ming army we're going to kill. Put two up there. Let's grab one of these stacks. Now that we've fought the rebels from the Timurids, we can probably pull these guys back. Nah, I'm gonna leave at least one stack on the front line. Not even a full stack. Roomba, you are a person and you are a beard. Chat is um suffering from a stroke. They are devolving. 
devolving into a lower life form. Gain base manpower, gain base tax. Uh, honestly, base tax is not as good to me at this stage of the game. Two base manpower is going to increase the, the strength of our uh, slack and standards clicks by more than the extra income from a base tax. So yeah, I would take two band power. Truce with Ming, please. April of 64 is like right now. Can I finish Ming? General Cleaner Bear just died, but we have no general slots, so no one shall lead. Hey Ming, guess what? We're back! Unify China. Yeah, I'm going to take the time to create a template for smaller sieges. There's just so many times where we don't need a full stack. Okay, I'm going to take a short break here. I'll be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.